Hot Springs grow. Is like hot springs grow? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah, that's, that sounds right. Test, test, test. What test. are you doing? I don't know. Doing the episode? Yeah. Why the fuck are you doing the episode? Because our fans have come to expect something from us. What the fuck is your problem? Why do you... I just want to please the why masses. Why do you think... What? You think you... You think you just fucking come into my house and do an episode? I'm, I'm sorry. I thought that's why I was here. <sighs> you... I... Whoa. Whoa. What? What's happening? I didn't save. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my fucking God. Really? Oh, no. Balls. <laughs> Are you? Fuck. Well, you know what? This is what you get for coming in my house and doing episodes. This well, is... It's what you get for leading me on. <laughs> what? Like, oh, let's make a you're, Let's Play you're just, channel. You're just, like, oh, cheesing oh. me. I was like, hey, I got all this recording equipment here, and so it's just... Uh, maybe we should just... Just sit in there. I'm just gonna go over here and maybe talk to you about stupid things. Oh, so you think that that's just your invitation to fucking wiggle your dick around all over, all over YouTube? I'm sorry, but you have to respect <laughs> my dick wiggling. Maybe... Maybe I just don't appreciate it sometimes, man. <laughs> Why did I have to do this? I, I, I keep on kicking the mic. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> well, we have to save this. Okay. <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> Balls! I'm going to grab a drink. I'll be back. Do you uh, want one? Yes, I do. Root beer, 7-Up, ginger ale, coke... Seven up. Okay. It's all right, okay. Alright, we're good. It's all alright. What happened was my controller cord was caught underneath something. I pulled it and accidentally pulled the N64. Oh, and so it tilted the cart. Yeah, the biggest problem with, um... Oh, and there's a fucking save point right here. Oh, that's good. Bullshit. Excellent. Anyway. The biggest problem with console game... What, sorry, cartridge games... As amazing as they are, and how little they fail, they are very sensitive. Yeah. It's like it's like a fucking Xbox 360. Yeah. Seriously, why is that system an exclusion to discs not fucking breaking? Like, I don't know, I, I fucking had issues with that. Like, I had that once on my first day of owning an Xbox 360. We had set it up on the floor... Yeah. Because, like, oh, yeah, we got a new thing. We're going to play with it. And um, it was in someone's way, and I was like, I'm just going to pick it up and move it into the shelf. So very gently, I picked it up, started to move it, and it's like, Vroom! oh, God. What? Yeah. what just happened? Yeah. And then the game crashed. I opened it up, and it had, like, this big fucking scratch all around the rim. And what do I do here? I think you use Cooper. No, no, it's it's... I can't reach it. Like, am I missing something? I don't know. Yeah, it's like not on the right plane. Y use what? Oh, yeah, it yeah. was. It just had to be like right at the end. There we go. Huh? Alright, whatever. Yeah. Luckily, that game that broke was Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Oh. Unluckily, so, so. I resurfaced it several times and then just stole someone else's copy. So I played it. Oh, God. Oh yeah, it's... I guess that would have been before you realized it was a horrible game. Well, it's it's a weird game. Like, I have played worse. Uh, the bleh. issue with fucking nuts and bolts is that it is not a banjo game, and insults banjo. Yeah, like there's a lot of other stupid shit in it, but like that's the main thing. Like the car building engine in that game is actually pretty good. It's just used so terribly. Seriously, what the fuck do I do? Um, like, this stuff. Okay, look at all your characters. Okay, I shall search them all once I get back to the other switch. Alright. It's probably just a perspective problem. Like. Well, it's clearly on the other side, um, though. Bombette, can you survive lava? No. Nope. You cannot. Let's see, Cooper can't get it. What? 
Was there an invisible block for me? No, nope. there is not. Lackluster. Wait, does this work? Oh, damn. I'm dumb. I think he gets a frowny face if you go over the lava, though. Oh, God, he's struggling. Aww. I'm, I'm sorry. Aww. I'm just going to keep doing this, though. So I want to see what's on the other side. You know, it could have just gone over here, but, you know. YOLO. Wait, it's, can you jump onto one of those from here? No, you can't jump. You have to, like, go on a ramp. Oh. Uh. And, but there is something over here. So I'm going to do this first. That must be hot on his cloud ass. So, can't get that, so I guess I'll just go the right way. That's no fun. Ugh, how would you be able to get that? Get what? That chest that was in the other room. Um, I'll, I'll get it later. Like, something happens. Oh, and... the, the lava dissipates? Yes, the lava hardens. Ah. And then I can do more things. Am I? Can I reach can it? You... So you can do more things when you harden. I don't need to do that. What? You can do more things when it's hardened. Yep. When everything's when hard, hard, more things are open to you. Yeah. Mm. They, they open easier when you're hard. Yep. Then opportunities just seem to spread apart. <laughs> that didn't even work. But it, it works. I'll, I'll stick with that. That works, man. All right. Thank you. You know, it's like legs. Yes. The, just the legs. It, it's like a pain. That does not look like a good. That was not a good. Alright, I guess I'll just keep... Nope. 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 Oh, wait, I know. I know what you need to do. I know what I need to do. Yeah. Because invisibility prevents lava. Yeah. Sets! Did you ever, like, no. play pretend on the, like, playground in elementary school? Don't you know that? The floor is lava? Yeah. I play that all the time. That seems to be a game that nobody was taught. They all just figured it out. Everyone just knew. Everyone just knew that this is what we must do. We have to try our hardest to not touch the ground. Yeah. They were training to be ninjas, but that never worked out. Maybe. Maybe it was a ninja thing. Maybe it is a ninja thing. Oh, you should get the group of them. Oh. No, it's... it's it's a scripted encounter, I can't do much about it. Oh, they're pussies anyway, so that's good. Yeah, 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 I gotta push the switch and they're gonna attack me and... I gotta take out the Magic Koopa first because he's stronger or some shit. And bam, he's dead. Whoa. He wasn't that much stronger. In fact, he's kinda dead. Well, you also do a crazy Boxing. amount of damage, though. Yeah, it is quite ridiculous. Like, I am just stacked. It's fun, though. Please don't all of you do this. Oh my goodness. Oh, fuck off. You, like, you won't die, but... I will not die, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Just... I'm just doing this. I'm just taking the pussy way out. Well, you, you don't, like... You don't take much less damage if you do the um, action commands, right? No, it's only like um, two or three less, and that does ten damage. Yeah. So, it's not worth it. It's a crazy amount anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's ridiculous. There's... Oh, come on! Well, it would only be ten this time, so whatever. Yay! Also, hashtag gay pride 2014. That's what these Ko Koopas are doing. Oh. I was wondering if there's a thing I missed. No. This is pointless. No, except they're like rainbow. Oh, yeah, they are like rainbow. Yeah. Damn it! Yeah, I fucked up. Well, it's good to see that Bowser is an equal opportunity employer. I mean, he has the... Uh, oh, wait, no, never mind. Or he's just not picky. Well, he has the Star Rod, right? Yeah. Did, doesn't that have some sort of rainbow effect to it? Um, it's the power of people's wishes. Okay. So, yeah. So it's I a guess little flamboyant. I guess people's wishes are... Gay pride or something. Yeah, something like that. Like people just want equality. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. I don't know. It just the quality's thing. pretty good, I guess. I yeah, mean it's not bad. Like could be better, but it's the best <laughs> we got. I mean not nearly as good as racial power. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty close. sure that's what 
Oh wait. No, that's not what equality is at all. No, no, that's the opposite of equality. It's the opposite of equality. That, that's rule. Yeah. That rule's good. I'm fine with it. Okay. Like, like it depends on who. Who do you think should rule? I don't know. Probably the Japanese. I think... Uh, like, they have the best stuff. I think Sylvester Stallone... That's overpowered, doesn't count. Why? Because it's Sylvester Stallone. Well, he'd be cool. He would be cool, but he's not a race. He's a god. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a Sylvester Stallone movie that wasn't Rocky. The Expendables? Not, not, not true. I saw Rambo, the first one, but... I think that's it. I've no, I haven't seen The Expendables. Oh, man. Was it actually any good, or was it just really pandering? It's, it's pretty good, man. Like... Like, all, all, all of the greats. Mm -hmm. They're all pretty good. One's got Dolph. Dolph's pretty good. All, all you need is, like, Arnold, Chuck Norris, Sylvester Stallone. Uh... That's all, that's all you really need. Well, it also had Dolph Lundgren and, um... Who the fuck was that other guy? Um, did it have Sean Connery? No. That's the... League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, like, wh who is that old guy that was in that movie? There was an old guy in that movie, right? Like, I think he played one of the James Bonds, maybe? I might be completely wrong on this. I don't know. I'm not much of a moviegoer. I... I don't know, man. I'm a very weird person in that I really enjoy movie reviews and parodies, but I don't watch movies. I don't think either of us really watch movies. Like, I... I keep saying to watch movies and just don't watch movies. Not enough time. Too many not video games. Not enough time, yep. Too, too many games. Too, too many video games. I mean, I don't even have time to play games because I have too many video games. Yeah. And that's sadly true. Yeah. Like, I'm being serious. Like... I get to the point, like, the thing is, like, I have so many games that... Ah, fuck, this is gonna be difficult. Like, whenever I start a new game I really like, I say, you know what, I'm gonna play this to completion. And then I get, like, to the final dungeon or right near the end of the game, and I'm like, the end is right there, and I really would like to start a new game. So then I just rush to the end without getting completion. Yeah. That is a thing that happens way too often, because I just want to play something else, because I have other things to play. I did that with Link Between Worlds. You should finish that game, though. I did. Well, complete it, because that's very easy to complete. I I was having issues with the, um... I don't know, what the fuck are they called? The, not the bloopers, uh... Zara? No. I don't want that. No, the, those, uh... Little shell things. Oh, the, um... Oh, fuck, what were they called? It was something my really mice. silly. Oh, yeah, my eyes. Yeah, those, um... Only w ah fuck I fell. Only one gave me a lot of trouble because um I think one or two of them are actually hidden within a mini game. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, that was that surprised me because normally mini games in Zelda's are in Zelda are for nothing more than like some Bullshit. extra rupees or maybe a, an ammo capacity increase. Yeah. So I mostly just avoid them because ammo is plentiful in that game. Yeah. It's not like Link to the Past where. There's fucking next to no magic drops in jars. Yeah. One of the bosses in that game pissed me off for that reason. Like, you need, like, full magic to... More than full magic to beat them, but there's... You can't replenish your magic in there. Link Between so you, Worlds? No, Link to the Past. The oh. first one. So you have to bring a magic potion in with you? Yeah. <clears throat> or else you're screwed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, trim. I want to use it. Yeah, I keep way too many items in this game that I will never use. That's I don't know fine. why I do it. I'm, I guess I'm just a bit of a hoarder. Just use them on Bowser or something. Um, I don't think they'll be that effective on Bowser. Damn it! It'd probably be better to just, like, regularly fight him. <coughs> oh, God. Don't die, man. I'm, I'm trying not to, just... Oh, Jesus! Too much food. That was a shocking twist. That was an unexpected development. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. He's dead. Yeah, he is quite dead, I've, I've noticed. Yeah. We should play a Mega Man. Yeah, maybe. Like everyone ever. Eh. 
The problem with Mega Man, though, is that I would beat the Robot Masters and then get to Wily's castle and be like, fuck this. That is my deepest secret. I have never beaten a Wily's castle in any Mega Man game. <clears throat> I have never really played a Mega Man game. I, I, like, I don't find the main levels too difficult, but once you get to the last, I'm just like, nope, fuck it, I'm out, I'm gone. And then I die. What was the last... Or, what was the... <sighs> I must have only played maybe, like, one Mega Man game, but they never appealed to me when I was a kid. Oh, did, what Mega Man game did you play? Uh, was it, like, main series or, like, weird spin-off? Um, I don't know. Oh, I Jesus. can't remember. I remember it was for GameCube, though. Oh, then it would probably would be a spinoff. What fucking Mega Man games for the GameCube? Like, I don't even know. Um, um fuck, what was there? Um, there was a collection. Like, the Mega Man, like, original and X collection, that existed. But, oh, he just opens up. That's cool. Um... Uh, uh, I'm trying what to was it like? Are you sure it wasn't N64? I'm pr yeah, I'm certain. Because that'd be Mega Man Legends. Because I remember the case for it. What did it look like? It was, he had he had like a dog sidekick thing with him. Um, dogs. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Oh God. And like, was it retro style 3D? I, I think. I really, I don't remember. This is really bothering me. I need to get to the bottom of this. I think it was Mega Man Legends, man. Yeah, it might be. We could, could like maybe the PS One version. Hmm. Might have been Legends. Yeah. Because. Yeah, like that. That's a difficult game to get into. It's like by no means a bad game, but much different. It's much harder to get into than the classic Mega Man games. Also, like Jump and Shoot Man. Yeah. Much easier to play. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Huh. Okay, everything's good. Okay. Anyway. So, like, have you played Mega Man, like, since then? Uh, no. You should. Like, fucking, I have the collection. I'll, I'll bring it over one day. <laughs> and we will go through classic Mega Man. And it'll be fun. And I will be a total dick and put you on a Lechman stage with no powers, and you'll cry. Don't do it. Uh, okay, I won't do it. I did that to many other people, and they all got pissed off and gave up. That was oh. fun. Because that, that stage is hard. Oh, why is this guy a traitor? Weird. Oh, so he's just really bored and wants to sell stuff. That's cool. Instead of actually being an enemy? Yeah, well... He's being an enemy to Bowser because he's in a warehouse. That's not his stuff. Oh. So, that's good. Don't know why Bowser has items only usable by Mario. But I won't question it, because good, it's good shit. So let's just keep maybe, on going. I don't know, maybe Bowser like uses them outside of fights with Mario? Maybe he does. Maybe he uses PAL blocks for his own recreation. Maybe he has his own story going on. Nintendo make that next game. Paper oh, Bowser? Yeah. Though I've realized they already made a Bowser's Inside Story, so that's a thing. Oh, yeah? That game's really good. You should play it. it is it like that concept, though? Um, like you play as Bowser? Or? Yeah, you play as Bowser throughout most of the game. Like, Weird. Um, it's also a vor fetishist, like, wet dream. Why? Well, because what happens in that game is that um, Bowser inhales, like, most of the Mushroom Kingdom. Hmm. So, like, you play as Mario and Luigi who are inside Bowser. Ooh. Which is why it's called Bowser's Inside Story. Ah, oh, I get it. And, like, you play as Bowser walking around, and then as Mario and Luigi, like, go to different different parts of his body and do stuff. And is, like, are you rooting for Bowser or Mario and Luigi? Um, you're rooting for both. Oh. It's basically like my enemy's enemy is my friend. Okay. Because like, um, it's one douchebag who fucked up both parties that you have to destroy. Like Bowser still hates you and he doesn't know that you're inside him. 
Oh. Or at least does know that you're alive and helping him. Oh. But you both want the same guy to get fucked over. Oh, okay. So you work together, like... But Bowser doesn't oh. know you're working together. Oh, uh, okay. Either way, it's a really good game, if very strange. Cool. Also, it has Fawful in it. He's the villain. Fawful? Fawful. Do you know Fawful? Sounds familiar. Get on it, man. Get on he it? He is, like, the greatest... He is one of the greatest Mario villains ever. If only because he speaks in English. It's yeah. great. Yeah. That's cool. Like, all of his lines are just really broken, stupid English. Like, um... The mustard of your doom is one of his greatest lines. <laughs> yeah. That, that's the thing he says. There's I have chortles. Oh, so they um, don't, like, replace L's with R's and be, like, racial... Racially stereotypical? No, be, like, he's an alien, so he just doesn't know how to talk like a person. Oh. Uh, he's just... He's just a... He's a funny little fella. Cool. He's a great character, though. And they really need to bring him back more. I was really, really sad that, um... Dream Team did not have Fawful. That was a missed opportunity, in my opinion. Especially since the villain that game did have sucked. Oh. That was unfortunate. Seriously, he was lame and very cliche. He's just like an evil bat guy and he's Transylvanian and just shut up. So he's Dracula? Yes, except he's like a nightmare bat. Oh. Some stupid shit. I don't know, he was just really boring. He did not click with me. But man, Dracula's pretty cool. Yeah. Bowser was the better villain in that game. What are you even doing right now? I got a key and now I'm just flushing some more drains. And now I'm going through here. Oh. That's what I was doing. It was effective. Or, or some shit. Oh, fucking shit. Ah. Balls and dick. Ah. Shit. Ah. Well, well, cack. Eh, yeah, whatever. I got them both. I can lick them. I mean, you can, you can lick them if you want. Good, but I just don't feel like it. So I will not lick them. That'd be pretty hot. It you would be do pretty it. hot. Just lick them. Just Licking the golden shaft. Lick the gold. Lick the golden shaft. Ooh. That should be a new catchphrase. What? That should be my new catchphrase? That should, that should be the new catchphrase, like in general. Oh. Lick the gold shaft? Yes. Just lick the golden shaft. Everybody, get out there and do your thing. Okay. Ugh. Fuck this. I'm not into it. You're not into golden shafts? No, I'm not into golden rods. No? Five on golden rod. Oh, sometimes they can be alright, man. You just gotta give it a chance. Just just take take a chance on me, you know? I'm just I'm just not going for the new experiences right now. Like I I can wait. Or something. What are we talking about? Does that have to do with butts? No, it has to do with uh, golden shafts. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah. What, what do we talk about? We just kind of talk. Oh. Uh, it, it's fun, though. Uh. 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 I got him. I can do it. So hopefully... I don't fucking know how much health this asshole has, but... It really doesn't matter, because I have Watt with me. And Watt can penetrate defense. Whoa. Watt is a master penetrator. That's good. Master exploder? Yes, that too. I think I told you that um, when I was googling Watt to find out what he was for that one episode, one of the first suggestions that came up was like, Watt Paper Mario Rule 34. Oh. And I'm like, this guy. Did, the, was this guy really that hot? Did you click on it? I did not click on it. No? No. Like, Why not? I guess we could later, but... Yeah. I'm, I'm down to... Still, that's... Like, I know I know that it means everything, but... Why was that a suggestion? Probably because it's the most searched thing. For what? Yeah. That's a little like, silly. Like, here's my theory. At one point, it was just, like, it just happened to be the most searched thing. So then, because of that people searched it more because they saw it was the first results. They'd click on it. And because so many people clicked on it, 
eventually it just became the default top and those of people got really into it? Yeah. Probably. Like, what has that effect on people? Yeah. Also, I think somebody corrected us that Watt was a girl or some shit. I don't care. Yeah. It's a baby. Watt's, Watt's a girl. It's all the same. What's wrong with us? What? Are we bad people? I mean, a little, but, you know. For, for what? For, for what? For what? <laughs> yeah, that shit. <laughs> yeah. We're bad people for making bad puns. I made it. I know. Man. You're a bad person. You should be ashamed. Like, check yourself before you wreck yourself, man. I'm not wrecking myself yet. I still got another day to go. Another day? I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. I'm just saying words because... <laughs> That's why. That's why, because... Oh, he got wrecked. Damn, I'm gonna get a lot of star points. Can you bring up your HP anymore? What do you mean? Like, oh, yeah, if you level uh, up? 50 is the max. Oh, okay. Um, I think you can bring it up to 60 if you put in HP plus badges, but that that's overkill. And I don't need that much more FP, so if I do level up again, I'll do HP, but I barely need it. Fuck! I jumped, you heard it. Yeah. Just didn't do the jumpy. Well, I still got your hitbox, man. I know. Well, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm still gonna win, and I believe in myself. What do we talk about now? Um, those people that were in the lineup at Mandarin. Oh God, there were annoying people there. They were the worst. I mean, we live in Brampton, where annoying people are common. Yeah. Still, like, there's one little like ten-year-old kid that was standing in line way too close to us. The entire time. Just four hours of this kid, like. Just brushing my back with, like, his hand, book, shoulder, face. Standing, like, right between us at one point. Yeah. Like, you're behind us. Get away. Like, he was clearly trying to get ahead of us without, like, making it look like mm -hmm. he was, right? And then he tried to, to pull it off. He tried to get in front of us. And then walked oh, in front of some other people as well that were in front of us. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, uh-uh, no, you go back. <laughs> you go, uh, all of you, and, like, he had some other friends with them or whatever, right? And then there are the people in front of us who very rarely seem to notice the line was moving. Yeah. I think it was more of the kids. Yeah, like, well, they sat down and didn't want to move. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, no, lineups suck. Yeah, I've been into longer, like, more painful lineups than that. The lineup for the Smash Brothers event was pretty annoying because of the one asshole in front of me. I don't know if I told the story, but fuck that guy. Fuck that guy in front of me at the Smash Brothers event. I don't think that he you have. I don't think you told me. So I waited three hours in line to play a game that this guy was waiting for it too. This guy spent three hours waiting in line complaining about a game that he's never played. About the, Smash Brothers? Yeah, the whole time he was whining that it wasn't like Melee. And yet he what? still spends fucking three hours in line to play it for a few minutes. He just wow. wants to bitch about something. It's really annoying. He's like, oh, he's like complaining about the speed of the game and a bunch of other really pretentious bullshit that he probably doesn't even notice. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ, I, I don't like people, but that guy... No, it, was the, it was constant, it was the whole time, he just wouldn't shut up. Weird. I'm just sitting there thinking, like, please don't let this guy be in my group. Oh, and he was? He was He was not. Thankfully, I was with the guy behind me who was... Maple syrup. Mm, yeah, fuck the maple syrup. Yeah, th that was with, like, the guy... The two guys who were behind me who were not bad at the game and were not douchebags, so that was nice. Good. At least I was not with that complete douche. He was annoying. There was also another person at that event who was in line with his girlfriend the whole time, and then um, they said, we need one more person in front to play, and then he just, like, abandoned her. Oh, really? Yeah. That's funny. What a dick. Like, it's understandable, though. It is Smash Brothers. Yeah, I, is... I realistically would probably do the same thing. <laughs> Jesus, I can't avoid that dick. 
I mean, it's hard to. Uh, well, that's just, just avoid stop. that dick. Avoid the dick. Like I know, it's it's just a little difficult sometimes. Yeah, I know. I know. Have, sometimes it's just you, you, it's hard to avoid. <laughs> Do you have any more lineup stories? Um, I mean, the longest one that I've ever been to was um, back in November when um, Future Shop in Ontario. I, I, I don't know if it was every location, but there was like. I don't know if I've told this already or not. Um, it doesn't fucking not not, it not on matter. the show. Yeah, um, but yeah. So basically, it was trade in any game, like any 360 PS3 or I think PC hard disk game as well. Um, I think I, I'm not mm, Wii U. Maybe not Wii. Yeah, no. Like there was any, Wii. any game. There's Wii. Say, like, Wii U. Any console game that they would accept. Yeah, anything, and you could uh -huh. get. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, Assassin's Creed 4, or Battlefield 4, and this is when they all just released that week, right? And, um, you could get any of them for free with trading in a game. So, a game that has maybe, like, a $2 or maybe even a $0.50 cent value, and you can trade it in, just get one of those sealed for free. And, uh, I ended up waiting, I think it was five hours? Jesus. In line? And was it worth it? Yeah. Well, think about it this way, right? Oh, it's Canadian value. Yeah. Canadian minimum wage is 1025, right? Yep. 1025 an hour. Uh times 5. It right? Is 5125 with with taxes re yeah, reduced as well, just a be. bit less, right? Yeah. I got four games. Mm -hmm. Sealed. So I got two copies of Call of Duty Ghosts, two copies of Battlefield 4 for 360, all of them. Um, because they ran out of Assassin's Creed by the time I got up there, but like I already had it, so I didn't care. Yeah. Um, and each of those games were like $70 or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So when you do the math, like, that's. Man, you made it. That's maybe like four working days, like full four. or <laughs> four full working days. Sounds worth Basically. it, even if the games weren't amazing. Yeah, oh no, they were shit. <laughs> they were the worst games ever. Yeah. But I gave one to my friend for his birthday. Why not, right? Yeah. Shit. And then, uh, yeah. So it was, um, it was worth it. I didn't have to buy those games and then know that they were shit. Mm -hmm. So I saved money. Yeah, I meant to go, but I had to work that day, and like I was thinking, oh, I could just go quickly before work, and no, I could not have. No, there's no way. Yeah, that would. I heard it was pretty crazy. Yeah. Like I'm trying to think of any other lineups I've been in. The only one that comes to mind is the um, Iron Maiden concert I went to, where um, I saw this ridiculous meth head get kicked out. So that was fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, like, um, they were doing, like, the basic search. I guess they found drugs on this one guy. And then he freaked out and started, like, trying to hop the fence. And they had, like, the security guards, like, to throw him onto the ground. Shit. And this guy was fucked up. He had, like, just a few strands of hair, like, two teeth. Like, ridiculous amounts of wrinkles for how old he looked. Like, th this guy was fucked up. That sounds pretty good. That was fun. And I, I got to see a cop, like, throw him on the ground. Cool. Yeah. It was a good day. It was a good day for all. What the fuck are you doing even? <laughs>